folks, I am here today with a very special guest. It's Maximilian Dude. How you doing today, Max? What's up, dude? How's it going? It's going good. I've got something very special cooked up for you today. I, I have asked my community of YouTube viewers uh, a whole bunch of fighting game trivia. Some of it a little more mainstream, some of it a little bit more obscure. But we've okay. got the stats of how well my subscribers and my viewers know fighting games. And I thought it might be fun to compare to your knowledge and see, are you able to outperform uh, the average JM Crofts viewer when it comes to some obscure fighting game trivia? So I've got 10 questions for you. Gotcha. And we're gonna see what kind of score we can get. Are you ready to hop right in? I'm ready. I'm ready to define footsies with there being no, uh, with there being no a footsies, question of It's a it low is. attack. <laughs> footsies are when you it press crouching. <laughs> yeah, technically, technically. All right, let's do it. Let's jump right in here. All right, Max, first question. We're all talking about Street Fighter VI lately, but which Street Fighter VI character does not have a special move that is a command grab? Lily, Luke, E. Honda, or Jamie? All right, so we've played, uh, we've played only two of these characters. True. And I am pretty sure from the little experience I have of, of playing the majority of them uh, that Luke does not have a command grab. All right, let's find out. All right, very nicely done. You are corrected. 72% of the audience got this one correct, too. So maybe I made this one too easy. But yeah, this also, I wrote this before the beta. So, you know, we oh, hadn't God. had as, <laughs> as much or not the beta. I'm sorry, the demo. Mm -hmm. So we, we hadn't had as much time, uh, hands-on time with Luke. But all right, you got one out of the way. Let's move on. All right, this time we have a Tekken question. Which of these characters was not playable in the arcade version of Tekken 1? Was it Heihachi, Kazuya, Michelle, or Yoshimitsu? Who was not playable in Tekken 1? So this is a... Uh... This is a good question because it specifically says the arcade version of Tekken yes, 1 and they not were the console all, all, version. I'll spoil for you. They were all playable in the console version. Yes, they were. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to go with Oh god. I'm going to go with that Heihachi was not playable in the arcade version and say oh. that everybody else was playable. All right. Well, it was a good guess. You got it right. <laughs> probably the Tekken I know the least about, but all right, good. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, I feel like Tekken 3 is kind of like the, the big one that like oh, yeah. really uh, started popping things off. Tekken 1, did Tekken 1 not have sidestepping? Isn't that right? I, I don't, uh, it definitely has like backstepping. I have to constantly remind myself that like the Changs have been in Tekken since forever and they weren't yeah. like added in like, you know, T3 or T2 or something. Tekken and yeah, Michelle was game. there before Julia as well, which I feel yep. like a lot of people don't even remember Michelle because she hasn't been there in a minute. But nicely done. 62% of the audience got that one right. So still the majority. Yeah. We're still the the uh, the plurality are, are getting these right. But feeling we'll try good. To get yeah, we're, we, you're doing great. Let's let's see if we can uh, increase the difficulty a little bit. Who has the most damaging assist in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, assuming all hits connect? Juggernaut, Iron Man, Tron Bon, or Captain Commando? And we are allowing Juggernaut glitch. Juggernaut power-up glitch is allowed. Oh, God. If uh, the, okay, so to, it, immediately it's not Captain Commando and it's not Iron Man. I, I think both those characters have good assists. I mean, maybe Iron Man, not so much. Captain Commando has some of the best single damage output fast assist, which is why you can kill people with it. Um, and my team, uh, when I wanted to win back in the duh, was <laughs> Doomtron Sentinel because they would just absolutely crap out damage. Yeah. So I'm going to say it's Tron Bon because it is multiple hits, and if all those hits land, it's like unscaled, absolutely insane damage. All right, Tron Bon. I feel like a lot of people probably thought it was Tron Bon, but it's actually it's Iron, Iron Man. Man. Can you believe that? Even against Powered Up Juggernaut, even against Tron Bon, if, if all the hits of Iron Man is... Now, it is hard is to make them all blast? hit. Yeah, Repulsor Blast. It is hard to make them all hit, but it is doable in certain combos. Wow. And it is the most damaging assist. In the it's tied with War Machine. Iron Man and War Machine wow. have the I had same no damage. idea. 
Yeah, I, I had to do some deep diving on this one to make sure. But yeah, that Tron does tough. <laughs> Tron does 45 damage, and I, I think Iron Man does like 50 or something. I have the okay. numbers somewhere. but Am I out? Is that it? Do I have to pack Yeah, game's back? over. Game's over. Hold on. Let's, <laughs> let, let's see if I... Only only 30%, only 37% got that right. 21% agreed with you. So that was that was definitely a close one. I gotcha. think okay. that, that one was very tricky, very misleading, but... We can move on. Uh, which of these games came out first, Max? Street Fighter Alpha 3, Street Fighter 3, The New Generation, X-Men versus Street Fighter, or Street Fighter EX 1? So it's definitely not Alpha 3. Uh, that's that's a bit later. That's like maybe 1998-ish. Uh, New Generation was 1997, so this is a bit later in the, the 90s. X-Men versus Street Fighter... And Street Fighter EX are the tough ones because X-Men vs. Street Fighter is the third game in the Versus series. The first one was Children of the Atom, 1994. I believe uh, Marvel Super Heroes after that was possibly 1995. And I think the Street Fighter EX, so I'm like, X-Men vs. Street Fighter is like 90, 95, 96, right? And then Street Fighter EX is around the same time frame so that's actually kind of difficult for me because they, they were cranking them out they were releasing like four fighting games a year they were then. it was crazy they, they might even be in the same close to the same year and street fighter ex had an arcade version as well which like the first time we ever saw the game at home was on what playstation one with ex plus alpha so that's not it i'm gonna go with my my initial gut instinct on this and i'm gonna say that it was x-men versus street fighter all right let's find out x-men versus street fighter is okay. correct <laughs> You're with the and majority again. 64% got this one right. Geez, and dude, uh, we weren't. It was two month difference. Yeah. Wow. Is that not, is that not crazy? Yeah. yeah I was so feeling like these are going to be close within within like what is this six months? Yes. But uh, Street Fighter Three, Street Fighter EX, and X Men versus Street Fighter came out. It's we're like no wonder <laughs> we're in 2011 all over again. Uh, yeah, no wonder like people talk about like the arcades being oversaturated and stuff. Like it's crazy how many they were releasing. But you got there. All right. All right. Moving on. Another Marvel versus Capcom one. I know you love that series. Which okay. of these characters appeared as an assist in Marvel versus Capcom one? Is it it's Doctor Thor? Let's Doom? move on. It's Thor. <laughs> All right. He knows. He knows. He knows. I don't even have to read it. Sorry. It was indeed Thor, and it turns out 55% got this right. Yeah, Thor, not playable in Marvel 1 or 2, but was an assist in Marvel 3. Thunderstrike. Yeah, and then, you know, they put that move in Marvel 3, so you could actually use it, I guess. So, all right, all right. All right. The assist, there were some obscure assists in that game, though. There really were, is, Like, yeah. Arthur was in there, and... Ruby Hart. Oh, wait, Ruby Hart was an assist? Wait. She's good, too. She tracks is that real? On, she tracks anywhere on the screen and she shoots three shots and you can like OTG after. It's great. Wait, huh? Yeah, she's really good. I thought she was from Marvel 2. Wait, what? Oh, uh, I'm thinking of another character. Michelle Hart. My bad. Michelle. Okay, I was going to say, a, am I being gaslit here? She's an okay. angel girl with a gun. My bad, my bad. That's my bad. Uh, okay, I also know Saki from uh, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. Yep. Was and she's Marvel. one of the worst ones. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but hopefully, oh, with that cleared up, uh, let, let's talk a little more about some some old school fighting games here. Which of these rival schools characters has not been playable in a different Capcom fighting game series? Was it Akira, Batsu, Hinata, or Kiyosuke? Yeah, you Kiyosuke could probably is from Capcom versus SNK two. Yeah, uh, that was the big first crossover appearance. Batsu showed up in Tatsunoko versus Capcom one. And mm -hmm. Akira just showed up in Street Fighter V, so the last one that's out there is Hinata. And I, you know, she's like a Sakura clone. I don't think she made it into anything <laughs> else outside of that one couple couple of games. All right, process of elimination here. And you did get it for all the reasons that you said. Yeah, Akira, they added the five. Batsu and TVC and Kyosuke and CVS too. You know, maybe maybe a bonus point. The points don't matter, but you'll get a bonus point for, <laughs> for naming them. And 57% of the audience got that as well. So nicely done. All right, Maximilian, we talked about Tekken 1 earlier, but which Tekken game was the first game to include Tekken Bowl? Was it Tekken 3, Tekken Tag Tournament, Tekken 5, Dark Resurrection, or Tekken Tag 2? I can't remember if T5 got bowling. I don't think it did. And Tekken Tag 2 had a myriad of crazy game modes, especially if we include the Wii U version. But yeah, T3 had 
the ball mode, all that wild and stuff. I don't remember playing Tekken Bowling until Tekken Tag 1. And that was like a feature. Like, man, video games have really come so far now that the PlayStation 2 could render bowling. <laughs> the sheer power, of, sheer power of rendering a bowling ball. Yeah. So I'm going to go with Tekken Tag 1. All right, you nailed it. And, and you are right that uh, Tekken 5 and Tekken 7 had Tekken Bowl. And Tekken 1, or Tekken 3 rather, had uh, volleyball. Tekken but, uh, Ball. Yeah, yeah, Tekken Ball, but no no bowling. And, uh, you know, 60% of the audience got that. So you're right there with them. All right. Only one wrong so far. Let's see. Which of these platforms, Maximilian, never got an official port of Street Fighter 2? Was it the Atari Jaguar, the Commodore 64, Microsoft DOS, or Sega Master System? I think I've, I've definitely the DOS version, and it sucks. Uh, so that, that, that happened. Commodore 64, I feel like that might have happened in some really weird way. Um, an official port. The Sega Master System and the Atari Jaguar are the ones that are really out there for me because we just, not even like a couple months ago, had a big Atari Jaguar night where we played a ton mm. of Jaguar games. And there was definitely no Street Fighter 2 on the Atari Jaguar. And I don't remember there being anything on the Master System, but I'm going to go with like what my gut is saying. And yeah, I just looked at the whole library of that system. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me think. No, we would have made fun of it. We would have definitely made fun of it. I'm going to say it's the Atari Jaguar. <laughs> All right, it was the Atari Jaguar. 48% of the audience got that as well. Yeah, you know, the Jaguar, it's one of those things. It's like the Virtual Boy where there are only like 12 games or something. Like the, yeah. the, the entire library is pretty small. It so. ain't big. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people asked me, they were like, wait, Commodore 64 had Street Fighter 2? That's the oldest platform here. There were some weird ports. I was hoping, like, I was like, I wonder if it's somehow mixing up with the 3DO? Because 3DO definitely was like the big Street Fighter 2 system because they actually had yeah. Akuma and stuff like that. So it, I'm like, okay, no, it's got to be the Jaguar. Yeah, you nailed it. You nailed it. I've ne I've actually never touched an Atari Jaguar, so uh, you're not missing I, much. I cl clearly, yeah, clearly not not a super beloved platform these days. But uh, speaking of beloved characters and beloved animal companions, which of these fighting game characters does not have a canine companion who helps them fight? Is it Kashan or Kashern from Tatsunoko versus Capcom? Is it Galford? from Samurai Showdown? Is it Giovanna from Guilty Gear Strive? Or is it Strider from Marvel 3? And it, note that they have to be canine, whether this it's is dog, a good, wolf, or... This is, a, this is a good twist question. I like it. Uh, Kasher and Galford and Giovanna are all puppy lovers, but uh, as I know, Strider is not. Strider has a robot tiger, so it is definitely Strider. Oh, Maximilian, too good. Yes, that's correct. He can summon a tiger or an eagle, but, but not a dog. Yeah, a lot of people thought that he summoned a dog uh 53 got it but yeah a lot of people complaining really? in the comments 53 come on guys <laughs> i know a lot of people are on my case like doesn't he, the the legion super have a dog in it no not a just dog. a tiger just a tiger so we're, we're going into the cinematic realm now max uh, known for being very uh good movies video game movies back in the day were really good which of these fighting game movies has the highest critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Was it Mortal Kombat Annihilation? That's the second Mortal Kombat, not the first yeah. one. Was it DOA Dead or Alive? Was it Street Fighter The Legend of Chun-Li starring that lady from Smallville? Or was it Tekken from 2010? Um, We're looking for the high, the, the critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Which one is the highest? All right, so, I finally threw you a curveball here. Yeah, this one's, this one's definitely tough. So Legend of Chun-Li, I remember when it coming out and it just being astronomically low. Like absolutely tanking so i'm gonna i'm gonna eliminate that from my head the tech okay. in 2010 live action movie um i'm shocked anybody actually watched it i did not <laughs> and i can't imagine that being up there either and doa 2006 was a straight to dvd situation didn't even come out in theaters is that true i actually didn't know that i think i think i don't think I, if it came out to theaters me and my dumb friends would have gone to see it <laughs> um Although Mortal Kombat Annihilation, while being really bad, is also a movie from the mid-90s where the palette of filmic taste might be a lot different and what is essentially okay might be a little bit more okay. True, and it's it's the sequel to a pretty good movie. Too, it's the so sequel maybe... to a popular movie. Although, you know, relatively, I think all of these are, you know, green tomato scores. I think all <laughs> of them are, are certified rotten. 
So I'm just going to go with my heart on this one, and I'm going to say it's mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. All right, Mortal Kombat Annihilation is actually incorrect. All right, so let, let's run through the scores What's here. The Tekken, difference? 0%. Legend to Tunley, 3%. Mortal Good. Kombat, 4%. How does DOA have 33%? Because nobody reviewed it enough. Nobody Hold saw on, we got to see. Probably some ridiculous No, it's 46, numbers. if you can believe it. 46 uh. reviews. And then the audience is in lockstep. There's a quarter million audience ratings, and they gave it 30, 36%. So oh, all the... It is, it is a dead or alive movie. I should have been smarter. I should all have the definitely. All the core values lovers exactly. really enjoyed. They 36% enjoyed, or 33%. By the way, 33% of the audience as well got that one right, which is kind of crazy. It's the same number. Uh, and 31% also guessed Annihilation. So almost, like, you were you were there with, with uh, a very large percentage of the voters. Deductive reasoning did not help us out here. People had good taste in 1996 as well. Yeah, clearly, clearly they knew what they were doing back then when they were picking out what movie to watch. But when we're picking out what game to play at EVO, which of these games has never been played as a main tournament title? And we're including EVO Japan here. So is it Pokémon Tournament? Is it Mario Kart DS, ARMS, or Super Smash Bros. 64? So I think Mario Kart DS might be one of the, the outlier ones, uh, but uh, that was my first EVO, actually. Oh, Mario Kart DS tournament with the Toyota Yaris. So <laughs> yeah, okay. The that is lore. not that one. Uh, Pokémon tournament uh, delayed our Killer Instinct 2016 finals to an astronomical amount, so it's definitely not Pokémon. Okay, okay. Uh, the big one is like Super Smash Brothers 64 and Arms, and the first game Smash, the the first Smash game that actually made it into an Evo was in the uh, mid late 2000s. So those like Smash Brawl, and it was at Evo officially. But, and items were allowed. Yes, it was it was a ridiculous tournament. I remember uh, that. Nothing but Meta Knight and stuff. I don't know if ARMS had had an official tournament either. And that's like recent. That's like within the last like five, six years or something like that, which is which is odd. But at the same time, these games like might have all had side tournaments in some way, but this is like an official title. And this is a main lineup main event yes. at Evo. I'm sure these have all been side tournaments. Exactly. A main tournament at Evo or Evo Japan. So I'm going to say that ARMS might have gotten that at some point, maybe a few years back, and I just eliminated it from my head, but Smash Brothers 64 is way before any of that stuff. So let's go with Smash 64. All right, you're correct. You're okay. correct. Good good logic there because, yes, Mario Kart DS was at EVO 26, Pokémon at EVO 2016, and then ARMS was the only one that was at EVO Japan 2018 smash oh, 64 that, oh we were including japan oh okay, okay yeah did i say that when i read the question i don't remember it's okay but I mean, we, we, we figured it out yeah i would have definitely picked mario kart ds if that actually wasn't my first evo i went to yeah that that one got that one got a lot of the a lot of the viewers at home uh 28 guessed mario kart ds but 39 percent again the the plurality, but I was saying people, people might be cheating. People might be Googling. Yeah. I don't know. If yeah, they just it, see this on YouTube, they want to be yeah. right on the internet. So you don't have the opportunity to Google. So I think you're doing pretty good. Okay. That was our last one that we have uh, the audience feedback on, but I do, I do have a bonus round for you. Okay. Where you can get up, uh, you, you can get multiple points that don't matter here. We can We've make only up got points to make it 10 out of 10. We're good. Exactly. You're sitting at nine points. Let's see if we can get you across the finish line. Marvel versus Capcom 3. Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3. It's a game that you've played a lot. You have the whole Assist Me series and everything. Uh, quite a history of that game. Of pressing buttons in that game, you might say. A big part of that game is pressing buttons. But which characters in the game press buttons as part of their attacks? Can you name every character in the game who presses a button when they are doing a move presses a button while doing a move i'm trying to think of like how to can we get like an example from another game that isn't marvel versus capcom like like what what do you exactly mean i mean like a, if a character might have like a keypad that they press and then an explosion happens or something like that Oh, 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 you mean like not the human side of it, the actual characters in the game. I mean, literally the character pushes Oops. a button. They oh, have the an animation where there is a button oh, God. and they press it. Okay, yeah. well, obviously one. Uh, and how many? Do, okay, oh, whoa, jeez. So we're talking about Ultimate Marvel 3 specifically. Yes, Ultimate Marvel 3. So all the characters. Uh, all right, in so Ultimate. Rocket Raccoon is the first one. That's, he actually yes, he, presses he goes, bing, big red yes. button and launches you with a nuke. Yes, um, that is correct. 
I don't mm. think Frank West does. I'm thinking like that might be like the next big one. Uh, does Deadpool is the question. Happy, happy trigger. The cut super. And we're, by the way, triggers we're not counting as buttons. Just for clarity for the yeah, audience. Yeah, so. those those are those are guns. Um, I was gonna say maybe during his his super, but he literally says you press the wrong button in his level three counter super. The the fourth wall break. I don't think that's it. I'm gonna say Tron Bond does at some point. I'm gonna say it's Tron Bond and Rocket Raccoon. That's for my. That's right. That's all I can really come up with at the moment. All right, Max, we're going we're gonna to run through evidence.zip real quick. All right, so I'm going to say that there are, there are three who unambiguously press buttons, okay. and there's a fourth that is borderline that I would, I would give you if, if you guessed it. But, right, so Rocket, Rocket unambiguously is pressing a button. There's no he doesn't doubt about that. Um, Modoc also is unambiguously what pressing a button. Stupid chair. Yes, Modoc, it's very clear that, he, that he's pressing a button. Um, Frank West, I think he's pressing a button. How are, how else are you taking a photo? Is the camera picture? All right, yeah. that's stretching. That's, that's stretching. a stretch. Okay, maybe that that one also is uh, is maybe not necessarily proven facts, but in my opinion, he's pressing a button. And then C Viper as well. I think she's pressing a button when she Under does laser. because she charges it up, and then to do it, she goes like boom. So in my opinion, that one counts as her pressing that a button. So tough. don't. To me, those are the four that count, but there are a couple that I feel like a lot of people think are pressing a button and aren't. So, Doctor Doom, I I scoured the footage, I frame he does by not frame. Have a button. He just slaps the, the chair. There's no button. He just uh, yeah. he just puts his hand down. Not a button. And then Tronbon, once again, I scoured the footage, but it is it is my opinion that Tronbon has levers only and no buttons. I really I really went deep in there on like every attack, even her supers, trying to find. Her pressing a button, yeah. but no, she's just, she's just, yeah, one and a, yeah, we'll get Tronbon, you know, a lever and a button are not that far apart, I guess, but <laughs> regardless, well played, Max, y you know, all but, all but one of these audience questions, uh, you totally nailed, so, uh, am I, wait, am I right up? No, no, I we guess got it was all tomatoes one wrong, I'm disappointed, I ended up getting a B. Oh, no, okay, oh, you got man. eight. Plus one and a half points, so, oh. you know, round that up, we could maybe say you got 10, but... Disappointed! <laughs>Regardless, you know, for not having Google at your fingertips like the viewers at home, I think you did really well, and uh, I wanted to say thank you for coming on the show. I hope oh, you had fun. You. Um, why don't you let the people know, you know, if they're not already following you, where can they find you out there? Yeah, you can hit me up on uh, YouTube at Maximilian Dude, uh, Maximilian underscore Dude, as well as Twitch. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe to JM Crofts <laughs> and uh, get updates on uh, cool trivia questions and shows like this. These, these things are always really fun to do. Yeah, guys, if you want to answer uh, future trivia questions so that you can be included in the percentage of people getting them right, uh, you know, make sure to hit me with subscribe as well. But of course, subscribe to Maximilian. But you guys probably are already. This guy's a legend. <laughs> He's an OG. I'm sure you've already pressed that button but just in case but with that i think we're gonna end the video thank you guys so much for watching thank you to maximilian for coming through i appreciate it once again and uh, i hope you all have a good one bye everybody